Ooh. Hi everyone. It's giving me very Latina vibes. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, I'm Tiffany. Um, and for today's video, I'm doing a full face of one of my favorite clean beauty brands, Fit Glow. And basically, it's a very short video. I'm gonna try to make it as short as possible. I'm refilming it because I hated the lighting. Um, but in this video, I will be including clips of swatches of some of the lip serums that I personally own, as well as their lip liners and eye, what is it, eyeliners as well. Um, so I will be doing concealer, color corrector, you'll see. But it's a, it's a full face of Fit Glow, and I mentioned this at my end of, at the end of my video. But I want this video to be something to that helps you. Um, decide whether you want to try a certain product of Fit Glow or all of Fit Glow. I don't want you to feel pressured. I know this brand is really expensive, guys, so I don't want you to feel pressured. I just want you to find this very helpful and maybe create a wish list for the holidays that are coming up. Um, but that is what we're going to be doing today and kind of just going through is how I got this really simple, easy look using Fit Glow. If you want to see how I created this really simple look as well as a little bit of my tea on some of the products, then please keep on watching. So I can't find my dang microphone. So upsetting. Um, hopefully, as always, this is in the middle. I really wanted to do this full face of Fit Glow, but more like natural lighting, just because in my room, I don't know. I have the worst lighting in my room. But anyways, I'm just gonna prep my skin before I put any Fit Glow, and I'm gonna use my Hue Glow by Low Tinted to really hydrate my skin. Perfect. I love their approach to makeup. It's very, um, yeah, simple, easy to use, clean if that's something you're interested in. So one of my holy grail products by Fit Glow is their color corrector. I freaking love this thing. It is so good. It is one of the only ones I really like. This is my number one color corrector just because it sinks so well into the under eye area and it does not feel like an added layer to your under eye. A little also goes a long way. So I like just to put a little bit, mostly where I have the most darkness. So that is usually where I'll put it. They also make amazing brushes. I have two over here. They look like this. Like this. Um, they don't come with names on it. The names is on the name is on the box um, But there's a fluffy one which I love to blend a uh, concealer with and then they have one That's like this that's kind of slanted over here both dual-ended. I love these so much My favorite is the fluffy one, but I particularly go with this more angled one to um, buff out the color corrector And like you will see a little bit goes a long way and it's very stretchable. And look at that. And that'll be that. I don't know if I mentioned the shade I use. I use the shade uh, Deep Peach. And then I just, oops. Then I just like to go in with a dry beauty sponge and just very gently press the corrector in. Just because I find if I do it too harshly, it kind of starts picking up the product. And voila. So I really, really love that. And then next, I'm going to go in with their concealer, which is such a holy grail product. I love their concealer. It is a beautiful blend of like thick but lightweight concealer. It blends very easy, also goes um, a very long way. It's a stretchable concealer and um, I don't know if I mentioned it blends very easily and you almost don't need to set it because it really it barely creases throughout the day. So as you can see a little goes a really freaking long way with this concealer so I just like to put it all over my lids the only downside I feel like this concealer has is their shade range for me still needs improvement. They did recently expand, so I'm encouraged by the fact that they will um, maybe continue to expand 
just because I really feel like the undertones aren't the best for me personally. Like I still feel like this is a little too light. Um, and then if I go the next shade up, it is way too neutral and very cool toned, which on my under eye area really makes my under eyes look super gray just because I already have <laughs> dark circles. But as you can see, full coverage, easy to blend, um, and it feels so good on the skin. It's so nourishing. Um, and then as foundation, because this is a little lighter, I'm not going to use too much today, but I do have a couple blemishes here and then right here. I'm just going to kind of... Yeah, I look a little pale <laughs> with this. Usually when I use this concealer, I use it with a foundation that matches me. But I really just wanted to show y'all like the kind of coverage that this concealer provides without using anything else. You know what I mean? So I am just going to let the concealer dry just a little bit because I do want to put a little bit more in the inner corner. Do you feel like using maybe your finger is a little bit more is a little bit better than using a sponge. I feel like the sponge kind of picks up a little bit too much of the product, um, especially when it's wet. So I think I'm just going to go in with a little bit more and I'm going to use my finger to blend that out. But as I let that dry, I'm sure many of you saw that they have released um, a new brow product. It looks like this. And I also really like this product. The only thing for me personally is that it applies very wet which is not my favorite kind of formula. I like something that's a little bit more drying and waxy so that it stays and isn't too messy. See, like, the trick is you really have to go very light-handedly, like very feathered strokes, light, light strokes. Um, but my left, I always mess up regardless, but it just gets too messy because it's too wet. And so I have to go in and kind of like fix it a little bit. But I will say the good thing is it is pigmented, as you can tell. And it does have a, I'd say like a light medium hold. Um, I have tried other brow products that have a much better hold. But this is a really great um, brow product. And I definitely have been using it. Um, I am in the shade Dark Brown. So as mentioned, I'm just going to put a little bit more. And I want to use my finger so much better with a finger i think that because i put a little bit more though i am going to set it just a little bit um so i have really been liking their vita set and perfect it's like a powder foundation think of maybe a little bit of uh the bare minerals original loose foundation thingy so this is very similar, but I will say this is a lot um, more of a lighter coverage and then not as heavy on the skin compared. Like I feel like the Bare Minerals are still very lightweight, but this is like ultra lightweight. Uh, the only other downside for this as well for me is I don't like the packaging. So the packaging comes like this. You put that down. It's very innovative. Don't get me wrong. I really like it, but it's really hard to get the powder out. So you have to like shake it down. And it takes a couple tries. And it just doesn't come out. I mean, just a little bit. Like, it really pisses me off. And there is powder in there, too. So I just, I don't understand. There we go. So it takes a little bit, but I really, really do enjoy this product. It's a very quick product. Oh, yeah. Some powder is coming out. That's good. The shade medium, if I didn't mention it already. I am going to use a different powder for my under eye just because I don't find that this sets my concealer very well. I am just going to set my skin, or I'm sorry, set my under eye with the Bare Minerals setting powder. I wanted to keep it in the clean beauty category. Um, okay, so next up, I am actually going to do my bronzer and my blush and my highlight off of camera just because they're Lumi's, unfortunately. I believe they carry macadamia or almond oil in it, and I'm pretty allergic to it. Like, I get super, super itchy, not, not cute. So I'm just going to do that off camera really quickly, and then I'll be right back. 
Okay. Actually, I didn't do any blush. I just did a little bit of bronzer. I used um, the Persona Cosmetics Dream Stick in Dune, and then I did a little bit of their new gold balm highlight thing. Um, they're multi-stick as well. So I went in with those. And then I do want to... I actually filmed this uh, already, so but I hated the lighting. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to insert some of the swatches I did from that previous um, from the previous video I filmed so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. But they do have some eyeliners. And I, in that video, used Mulberry. So I think that's what I'm going to do again what about the eyeliner it's very easy to use it doesn't tug on the eye they're very creamy and come as a pencil they're very gentle on the eye so i do enjoy using these then you can use the other side of the brush to kind of just stretch out the pencil the eyeliner and again, I really enjoy the way they make their products. Like, they're very easy to use. I think it's supposed to be very multi-use, um, beginner-friendly, really. Like, it comes with a pencil, and then it comes with a brush that you can kind of clean out the eyeliner if you mess up a little bit. I can never do my left eye nicely. So annoying. Okay, so that is for the eyeliners. And then to finish up the eyes, I am going to go in with their mascara. So this is their new mascara wand. The last one I don't like. It's kind of like a cone. Um, and this one is a little bit more curvier. I'm going to insert what I used in my last video. But this one's a lot curvier and I personally really like it because it has skinnier bristles at the bottom that are nicely separated so that you can separate your lashes and then the other side is a little bit fluffier so that you can really bring in that volume so i mentioned in that video that this is not my favorite kind of mascara this is very serum like um it's pretty wet also so i find that it doesn't really help with keeping my lashes um looking long i feel like it kind of draws them down a little bit um but usually when i have where is it when i have used this mascara i use it when it's just like a day off and i'm running errands and i just want to put in put on some mascara to kind of look awake then i'll use this but it's not my go-to so i think this one's kind of a flop for me but I wanted to use it for the video. I'm going to quickly do this off camera and I'll be right back. All right. So that is for the eyes. And I think it looks really good. But see how just like my skin looks like my skin? Which regardless, I it's funny when I say that because all my makeup, at least the makeup that I try to um, buy or keep in my collection it's makeup that looks like skin so that's one of the main reasons i love fit glow it just looks so skin like so they also have lip liners which i will also be swatching or adding the snippets from the other video um but just to mention i do have five and i also really like this formula they're very creamy they don't tug on the lip they're very easy to blend and they also come with a nice little brush that helps you clean up your lips a little bit um so i also really like these gorgeous colors i think that for today i have mulberry in the eyes oops i kind of i'm gonna go in with juice so I'm going to enter the clips of the lip serums and I'll add the names so that you guys can see um, which ones they... Oh, let me make this easy for myself. But this is Juice, Fresh, Live, Gospel, which actually Gospel I did not have coming into it. I just had ordered this. I just got this in the state of Kate, which you can get 20% off with her code Kate20. I'll put it here. But this is Gospel. 
This is in her collaboration with Fit Glow, her kit. I have Root, which you can't see because I'm blurred out. This is Root. Kind of looks like my nail color. And then the last one is Beach Glow, which I did, again, did not include because I didn't have these yet. Beach Glow is a beautiful sheer copper. And this is Beach Glow. Look at that. Oh. Okay, so then the last three I have is, this is Koi, Cheer, and then Cherry. And then I think I'm gonna go in with, I said juice, right? So that means I'm gonna use the lip liner in red, which I actually have not really used much. So let me wipe this off. All right, so this is red and I kind of just like blended it in a little bit into my lips. So it kind of will have a nice ombre look to it. And then let's go in with juice which is a gorgeous sheer kind of coral red. I know I just showed you a swatch, but a coral red. See how sheer that is? And that is juice. Y'all. Okay, so I just want to get into the lip serums a little bit very quickly. Um, the lip serums are my number one favorite thing out of the entire collection that I have the best lip product I've ever tried, and that is all thanks to my sweet friend, Steve Kate. These are so, one, they're super nourishing, very hydrating on the lips. They're, to me, a very beautiful blend of thick, but so lightweight on the lips. It feels so good just to, mm, like, move that around. They also smell delicious. Each one kind of, no, they all to me smell very like vanilla-like, um, very subtle, but I love these. Ugh. And I, what I also really love is that they come in so many shades. I think it's like 20 plus shades, so many. So I like how inclusive their lip product range is, um, but wow, just wow. You, It's something you have to try um, because they're, they're just like lip changing, lip life changing. So that is juice on my lips, and that pretty much is my full face of Fit Glow and a little bit of my short and sweet reviews on the products. Um, in no way do I want any of you to feel uh, like I'm pressuring you to try this product because I will say I know that this brand is expensive. It is not cheap. The lip serum alone is like $42. But I really created this video so that it can maybe help you if you are thinking about purchasing Fit Glow, what products perform very, very well, what products I recommend, and um, also seeing these kinds of products on someone with one, my skin tone, and two, my skin type. So all in all, I really hope that this was more helpful than pressuring, because I will say most of the products that I have here was gifted to me, um, and I'm very blessed for that, but when you're spending your coin, I want you to really think about it. And I just want to be someone who really helps you decide whether to pass or purchase. So that completes my look. And I hope you guys really liked it because I really enjoy just creating very simple makeup looks. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day or night or whatever. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to connect with me on Instagram. I always reply. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Adios.